Hey, Fee. Hey, Tracy. What should we do today? Let's watch this hip TV show with girls like you and me. It's free. <laughs> we really like and best of all, it's free. Squirrel eyes are watching. Geek girl. TV. Squirrel eyes are watching. Geek girl. TV. Anka. Vetro. You. Happy Young. Winery. Apple. Mac. TV. Geek girl. TV. Television for the computer savvy. Hello and welcome back to Geek Girl TV. My theme song was created by The Days, which you can check out at myspace.com slash The Days Girls. As usual, I'm your Geek Girl host, Steve Park, and this is episode number 49. What's just so gosh darn special about the number 49, you might ask? Well, I don't know, but it is right smack in between the number 48 and the number 50. 48 being the episode I forgot I had promised to talk about potato jeans, and 50, my episode 50, spectacular. So let's go ahead and talk us some potato jeans. One episode belated. I'm going to go ahead and read from potatogenome.org because they really sound like they know what they're talking about. It says here that, like many other important crops, potato is polyploid, the effect of polyploidy on crop production has yet to be determined, but its prevalence in crop species suggests certain advantages. Potato is an ideal polyploid for study in that it results from genome doublings, autopolyploidity rather than genome combinations, allopolyploidity, and therefore less complex. Potato actually has a number of ploidy levels based on a haploid number of 12 ranging from diploid, 2n equals 24, to hexaploid, 6n equals 72, and including triploids, tetraploids, and pentaploids. Cultivated potato varieties are tetraploid, 4n equals 48. Many wild species are diploid, but may range up to hexaploid. The tetraploid cultivated potatoes are not diploidicide, so there are four interchangeable genes at each locus. That's my homage to Dr. Seuss for the day. As I've already mentioned, next week is my episode 50 Spectacular, and I've already shot some footage. And I'm going to take the liberty to take two to three weeks to show that various footage because it's just so gosh darn super special. So next week, it'll be 50. Week after that, episode 50. And the week after that, probably still episode 50. A sort of to-be-continued sort of thing. Unlike some weekly podcasters out there, I don't feel some OCD obligation to increment my show number each and every week. It's all good. By the way, I need to issue a small correction to last week's episode when I stated that the tech biking was the only letor to thus far achieve super special elite status. That is, in fact, incorrect. The first Litor to achieve super special elite status was Mr. Cellophane, way back around Christmas 06. His submission won the Screen Goddess Calendar, as it was a contest I was running at the time. And I'd like to thank everyone who took the time to write in and give me what input they had about current smartphones and their usage on carriers here in America. I expected the debate to be more pro-iPhone than it turned out to be. In fact, it was pretty balanced for and against the iPhone. And although I have not yet made a decision, I did learn quite a bit and have several potential models of smartphones to research. So if you have any information on the topic, i.e. an articulate argument why I am a fool for not owning an iPhone yet, or an alternative smartphone that you think is even smarter that works well on a carrier here in America, send that in to geekgirl at clevermedia.com because I'd love to hear what you have to say. I recently had a viewer ask me what a Litor was, and it's been a while since I've explained it, so here it goes. Litor obviously derives from leet, which is leet speak for elite. To be a litor, you must be leet-er, as in more leet than the general populace. But it is also a pun on leader. The leet have a bad reputation for being conceited elitist 
and having a snobby superiority complex. I'd like to change that by encouraging the leaders to be helpful and lead by example to those noobs who obviously were not graced with the same technical aptitude or perhaps opportunity. And so the idea is that the Litors is my grassroots superhero movement. And to join, simply send your application to geekgirl at clevermedia.com, answering the question, if you were a superhero, what would your name and superpower be? Super special elite status for those who include a picture or video. I'll see you next week in my episode 50 Spectacular, where I get to go out to eat with one of my favorite podcasters. I'll see you then. Excellent. Yeah.